going on guys in this video i want to talk about the boazon coming out in patch 2.6 or season 3 that you can expect to enjoy using this new hustle rune word it absolutely opens up this class to just become again formidable and actually um competitive on players eight and as that might sound a little bit like yeah okay sure uh, it's actually true this class with the hustle rune word gets much increased attack speed and, and pretty solid movement speed as well because you get burst of speed so burst of speed plus fanaticism might pride how does that look with a wind force if you go that way there's so many options to talk about but in this video i'm going to show you two builds that i've made that i think you should use in the end game for the boazon patch 2.6 season 3 and d2r so let's pull back that bowstring and get involved so hustle this is the new rune where we're going to swap to with our boazon so putting it in a grand matron bow using the shale co and eldrunes hustle is going to give us a five percent chance to cast a level nine burst of speed on striking it's also going to give us a 30 percent increased attack speed in this case, 141 enhanced damage, an additional 75% damage to undead, and plus 50 to attack rating against undead, and an additional 10 to dexterity. So what is a level 9 burst of speed? So plus 44 increased attack speed, and plus 51% increased faster run walk. But I want you to know that the faster run walk of 51% that you get is not regular faster run walk. It doesn't suffer diminishing returns like all the other gear would. Uh, there's other skills in the game like Vigor or Frenzy, um, and in this case, burst of speed that that grant increased faster run walk, but on a whole different table. So it's nice that you get plus 51% increased movement speed at literally no penalty or diminishing returns. That's awesome. So you, you hit this to start and then you swap into whatever weapon you want. We're gonna check out some footage here and I'll show you uh, what it feels like to use Hustle in patch 2.6 season three. Okay, starting off in the middle here, we've got the passive magic skills for the Zon. I've maxed out Critical Strike. I've got one point in all my wonders here, dodge, inner sight, slow missile, avoid, evade decoy ultimately getting to valkyrie as a as just a point of conversation the valkyrie is very tanky and it's nice to drive mobs to the target so you can just go ahead and nuke them uh, from range so in addition to that we've got uh, a couple points into penetrate giving us as much attack rating as possible we want to connect with this class and then enough points into pierce that's going to work with our belt which is razor tail uh, right here to give us maximum pierce then we go ahead and put one point into magic arrow one point into cold arrow which allows us to move into guided arrow and we max out all of the synergies so multiple shot multi shot you've got guided arrow maxed and then also strafe so strafe Guided Arrow and Multi-Shot all maxed for this, this example. Um, moving into the way we spend our points, we just get enough strength to wear our gear, and then the rest of it goes into Dexterity. We're not putting any points in Vitality. This is very much a glass cannon build, and you get the most out of this Boazon if you dump your points into Dexterity. Uh, going over the gear, I've got a G-Face. I do use Wind Force, Lang of Hands Gloves. I've got a Raven Frost on to add Cannot Be Frozen. I've also got the Razor Tail Belt, which we talked about. We are gonna be using the Fortitude Dusk Shroud as it works quite well uh, with this class, doing all that enhanced damage um, to everything that we hit, which is huge. We've also got a bunch of resistance, which is nice, reduced damage taken. So that helps a lot. The other ring is going to be, you're not going to find one like this, but it's nice to have a dual leech ring. If you've got mana leech, life leech, that's good. Any amount of attack rating is good. The faster cast rate just helps if you're trying to get that Valkyrie a little bit better. And again, it never hurts to have some resist. This ring is disgusting, but if you can find something like that, that's okay too. So again, you're looking for dual leech and attack rating. Anything else is bonus beyond that. And as for boots, I'm trying war travelers, but you could go with Gores, if you want to, could be a good choice. As for the mercenary in this example, we're going to be using a Vampire Gaze. Again, jeweled up. It's got increased attack speed and enhanced damage. You're going to be using an Ethereal Shaft Stop for the Act 1 mercenary, which in this case is a Cold Arrow version to slow things down when you connect or whenever she connects. And Shaft Stop is great for them because they just take a whole bunch of reduced damage and they leech through the helmet. And they're going to be using a Faith and a Grand Matron Bow because these um, these rogues can now use Amazon Bows. So make sure you take advantage of that to get the plus three bow and crossbow skills for them. And they're going to give us Fanaticism Aura at level 15 if you can roll it up that way. But what you want to get is the Fanaticism Aura applied to your character from this rune word Faith. Okay? So, the big thing here is Faith plus Wind Force. After your swap here is going to be Hustle. We're using the Max Roll Character Planner for this example. So you can see Hustle's not here. But in the PTR testing I'm going to show you, it is there and being applied. Okay? So that's this character. Uh, the calculations, the way it breaks down. The nice thing with Faith in the Fanaticism Aura in multi-shot, if you go over here, we're in at, we're in that seven frame attack rating. So we're getting 3.57 hits per second. Um, and again, very, very good damage. And you'll see how this plays out in just a minute. Let's go check out some of that gameplay uh, right now. So let me just show you the following. Let me show you the class the way it was decked out before Hustle, okay? This is before Hustle. Oh, fuck yeah, it's better. Oh yeah, it's better. Nut slapping butts, yeah, watch. Okay, here we go. So I had to change my weapons up again. Don't care about this. And we're going to... Strafe. Strafe is our main attack on Z. On Z, I've got multi-shot. I've got guided arrow. We'll go through the build in a second. So, Z. Right? 
this is it before. We're also using <laughs> Oriana, right? She's using Vampire Gaze. She's giving us faith for the increased attack speed with fanaticism, and she's built to kill. So she's doing okay. So we're moving along, right? We're just strutting through Sanctuary, looking real nice, and we're using we're using Strafe. This is great. There's Multi Shot, which is really really good. You're leeching like crazy, and by the way, the build you're all in on decks. You don't care about Vitality. You're knocking things away, and that's the way it goes. We don't have CTA on this. We don't care about that at all. Look at you see, really nice. Now what happens when, and this is all players one, by the way. Players one, right? Players one, sure. What happens when we turn this thing on with Hustle? I will show you. We'll go to players eight. Players eight difficulty, brand new game. Let's get the hell out of here. This is where it gets really nice. This is where I was like, I gotta show the guys and the girls, of course. Hustle up on swap, hustle's going. Let's go ahead and uh, yeah, move in. You'll know you've got it because the character immediately moves fast as, right? Let's go. Really slow, really slow. And once Hustle's on, right? There it is. Now we got Hustle. So we swap into Wind Force, and this is Player's 8. This is all Player's 8. And we are shredding the entire screen. And it is actually pretty freaking good. Considering that's multi-shot. Hey, man. Hey, OG Duriel, things are great. How about you? Right? Just shredding. Just having a good time. Mobility, not all that bad. Not all that bad. We can always move. Right? We're good. So good. On a boss, it's probably gonna it's probably gonna nuke him. Once you get that amp damage on it too, you're just nuts. Anyway, keep moving. Let's just let's just keep moving through this and see what happens. Let's just see what happens. These are all champ. This is players eight, by the way. This is not players one anymore. This is like this is us testing this class out to see what it can do. And I gotta say, I'm pleasantly surprised. It's slower, but it's still good. It's it's still good. So we're still on the arrow stack. We have 242 out of 500. Thank God for that change, right? And we're doing all right. Pretty nuts of players eight. Well, the gear is disgusting. To be honest, the small charms here are nuts. I did. No, no, this is a knife. I tested it more. We just talked about that. I'm gonna be, you guys can ask me all kinds of questions about builds. I've been testing them all day last night and this morning. And then I hit the gym and I got a shovel like crazy today because you know, Canada, but yeah, it's all good, dude. It's all good. The only thing I didn't do is I didn't add in like a tiara, you know? Okay, guys, so this is what ends up becoming the best build I could make on the PTR for, for the boson. This is what felt the best. So I ended up going with a Grand Matron Bow with Faith Runeward, giving me a level 15 fanaticism. And if you're lucky, you don't have to roll it that high. That's fantastic, man. On swap, you're going to use Hustle, which is going to give us a level 9 burst of speed 5% of the time when striking. And with Strafe, it happens easily. Um, the Mercenary that we're going to use is a Act 2 Might Merc using Pride Runeward, giving us up to a level 20 concentration. It's nuts. It's really, really strong. Our point distribution for the class is 49 strength to wear our gear, and then everything else goes into dex. Dump all of your extra points into dexterity. Do not worry about vitality in this case. Um, again, the build's the exact same as the first one that we showed, and all of these builds will be linked in the description below as a max roll uh, link, so you can just, you know, highlight, copy, and paste, and, uh, and check it out and break it down and see what you can do. Uh, again, in plain English, we're going to max out multi-shot, Guided Arrow and Strafe as our tools to get things done and kill demons. Um, calculations. When you break it all down, enjoying all the buffs on your class, burst of speed, right? Fanaticism, might, concentration. Multi-shot comes through with a 7 frame attack at 3.57 hits per second. That's pretty solid. And uh, Strafe, same deal. Um, 33 uh, frames per 9 hits at 6.82 uh, per second. So pretty solid. And we're going to go check out what that gameplay looks like uh, right now. Okay, we got might. We got might finally. 10k. 10k, we ran out of arrows. Wouldn't you know it? Uh huh. Good. Faith, let's go. It's pretty nuts. Dude, it's pretty good. It's, it's all right. It's not bad. Okay. I got lightning charms in that bow made. Not sure how editing a lightning sunder charm in. I don't... It's a pain in the ass to get that stuff. Trying to get the attack rating on there is rough. I can have that ready to go for tomorrow. That's no problem. But live right now, that would be a lot of downtime trying to figure that out. I don't mean to be rude to you, Spets. But if you can figure that out, let me know. Or let Huston know. He's good at this stuff too. Okay, 10k. So 1900 to 10k. Let me figure it out. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm down to try. This is the Boazon. It's looking like it, man. This is Player's 8. Let's 
kind of shredding. It's kind of... That's not even amp. Oh, man. Sure. It's for both. So, so strafe damage is 1881 to 10k. Multi shot is 1293 to 6931. I mean, holy fucking frames, dude. You do so much damage, you crash the game. <laughs> I used to be good at Hero Editor back when I opened up oh, open battle net dueling. Fair. Okay, so we lost it. Get some more arrows here. We lost Hustle. Let's get it again. Hustle's so easy to apply on this character, too. We just drilled that dude on P8. Kozark, can you try using Windforce? Pride on a Might Merc and Metal Grid Golem summoned it in Beast. Yep, I'm sure that I could. Yo, yo, it's Lotrot. Hump day, almost there. Yeah, we're here now. Metal Grid. That I don't know. I don't know if I can do that one. <laughs> but I can do Wind Force and Pride on a Might Merc. I can do that right now. I can, I can make the swap. Do you guys want to see what that is? You want to see what Wind Force does with all this increased attack speed? Yeah, it's just good. No, I know, I know Metal Grid. I know the amulet, yeah. I know what you're asking. Let me get these files out of the way. I have tons of files in my face. There we go. It just fits. This is what the rune word should do. It should fit the play style, right? It should complement it. And it's doing that really well. Really, really well. Rizzle. Yo, 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 yo. What up, man? How are you? I'm not even, like, cheesing this with, like, a combat shrine or nothing. Yeah, 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 Biddy. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. This this zone's ready to go. But let me just let me just here. Let me do it just do something here so you can we can drop that argument because it's not as crazy as you think. So all these charms, none of them. I don't want any of these charms. Not, not a single one. Let's get back in there, okay? So we can dispel that argument that you need the charms to be OP, because you don't. You do not. Alright? That's not a thing. It's still frickin' nasty. And this is player's eight. Right? Gross. Emilio's done. Just thread the needle, boys. Just thread the needle. Give me that amp proc, please. This is where the AR suffers huge. And he's toast, okay. Yeah, night, night and day, night and day, watch this. Guided arrows OP for PvP, yeah it is. So we're struggle busting it on him, but we'll get him dead. Let's see the difference with all the charms now, all the extra stuff, the bells and whistles and the Merc back. I bet you we have a much, much more um, impressive connection with this guy. That's my guess. Yeah, it's night and day. Yeah, it's 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 night and day. And do we? Yeah, we still have it. Okay, we still have hustle. And there's amp damage proc because we're connecting more, right? Yeah. So that's what the charms are going to give you. Just smoother gameplay, which is what I said. More attack rating, more life. Just more more forgiveness. That's nuts. And so there you have it. The the charms are not a massive dependency. This is very much an end game variant. I've tested everything. So we had Breath of the Dying. We tried Mist. We tried Witch Wild String, right? Double Shield. We tried all sorts of things. Uh, again, I'm using Faith. Merc's using Faith. On the PTR, we didn't get too many choices. So we had to make these offline characters using a hero editor, which was, which was beautiful because it answered a lot of the questions. The one thing that was unfortunate was we couldn't use the Metamorphosis rune word in a mask. Um, or, or even like a Zerkarax beast to try and get the benefit of Mark of the Werebear to get that crushing blow and physical percent damage reduction. That may be a restriction of the rune word at this time as of the making of this video, I don't know, but this class was all right. It was very surprising how easy it shattered through um, players one content and also into players eight. I think you guys might want to give this a shot. I was very surprised. I'm going to say Boazon's back on the menu. It's a wonderful class. I love this class back in LOD and um, 
yeah, we don't have infinite penetration with like Bariza du Canyon and like Nefrun and just destroying people, but it's actually great. And I think you might want to give it a shot. One thing to mention is uh, in these examples, I didn't toss on a demon limb to make sure I have even more attack rating and adding some fire damage. So it can get a little bit better, but that's, you know, that's cherry on top. The question is, how does RuneWords like Hustle impact gameplay for Season 3? In this case, I think it's pretty good. I'd be interested to see what you guys think. So hit a like if you don't mind the content. It helps a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for checking out the video. Hope this helps and uh, much love to you guys. Pull back that bowstring and let rip, man. Catch you guys in the next one. Adios.